The world-renowned Iranian mathematician Miriam Mizakani has died of cancer in hospital in the United States. She was the first ever female winner of the very prestigious Field Medal. It's considered the Nobel Prize for Mathematics. The award in 2014 was in recognition of her work on complex geometry. She was 40 years old. Let's speak to Dr. Tom Crawford, a mathematician who's recently finished his PhD in applied maths. He joins us via webcam from Cambridge. Thank you very much for your time. Her achievements are absolutely astounding. Just explain to us, for anybody who doesn't really understand, like myself included, complex geometry, dynamical systems, that was why Professor Mizakani was given this Nobel Prize for Mathematics. What is that? Um, well, first of all, just offer my condolences to her family and the mathematical world because we have really lost a, a, you know, a role model, sort of the first woman to, to reach the pinnacle of maths. And what she did was to, to link geometry and dynamics together. And geometry is sort of the, the shapes and the sizes and the position of objects sort of around us. And dynamics relates to forces and the motion these forces cause. And the two are very interlinked. So if you think about our solar system, we have a sun and we have planets and they're in fixed positions. That's the geometry. And then the way the planets move, so the fact that us on Earth go around the sun in an ellipse, that's the dynamics of the system. And what Mariam was able to do was to link these two topics together, but not in something we can visualize like the solar system. She did this in a very abstract world of sort of curved mathematical surfaces and to just have an imagination and to be able to visualize these things and then to sort of you know, have all these breakthroughs in that field is just incredible. It sounds absolutely extraordinary. Of course, she is a woman, she was a woman in the male dominated world. How significant is her achievement? I, I think as I, I alluded to before, it's the Fields Medal is the, the mathematical equivalent of the Nobel Prize. And the fact that it took until 2014 for a woman to win this, it sort of shows just how difficult it perhaps is for women in maths and how um, important and like the legacy that Mariam's left behind here. Because if you think about something like physics, they had Marie Curie won the, the Nobel Prize for physics in 1903. And yet it took almost 110 more years before a woman was sort of reaching the top of, you know, as high as you can get in the field of maths. And she, she really was a, a, just a trailblazer and just a fantastic role model for young women who want to go into science and go into maths in particular. Why do you think it's been so hard for women to do that then? I think a lot of it is, um, it seems to be the, the sort of professorship level from, I'm, I'm mainly speaking here from experience. So they're, they're, I think we're improving um, women studying maths at school and then at university and then going on to graduate studies was sort of getting better. But it's then that next step. So once you sort of complete your PhD, then to, to become a lecturer at a university or sort of obtain a professorship, sort of a chair position at a university, they tend to just to, they just always seem to go to to men. And I think it's only recently now we've started to see the shift with more women obtaining these positions. And that is definitely in part to to the work of Mariam and the fact that she was able to to obtain, you know, the top position, the top award you can get as a mathematician. As, as a woman and the first woman to do that. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Tom Crawford, and congratulations, because of course, you've just recently finished your PhD in applied mathematics. Amazing, thank, thank you so you. much for your time.